Welcome back to the How to Be Good at Uncharted 3 multiplayer beta video series. Last time we spoke generally about adjusting and positioning yourself within the game flow of Uncharted 3, but this time we're going to be a bit lighter on the gameplay demonstration and we're going to discuss uh, multiplayer loadouts. Before you even jump into the multiplayer, the first thing you want to change, depending on the game mode you're playing, your style, and especially who you're playing, are your loadouts. I've already set the four possible multiplayer loadouts based on gameplay style. So here we have weapon modifiers available for each gun. For the AK-47 specifically, you see clip size, rate of fire, and call out. And each gun, uh, the attributes of the gun will change depending on the, the modifier you use. And uh, it really gives you an opportunity to uh, change up your weapons without completely changing your weapon. And now for the most important part of your multiplayer loadouts, boosters. So your first boot, first possible booster is come here, which allows you to see your opponent after he or she kills you. Your next possible booster is endurance, which decreases the recovery time for your sprinting, so you can sprint more often. Next is cloak, which uh, keeps you on the wraps, just in case an opponent sees you and your marker your marker won't appear. And uh, finally, you have Weapon Expert, which gives you another mod slot for your micro or a Power 9 pistol. When I build a loadout, it must meet two requirements. One, that it's balanced. Two, that it meets the needs of a specific game mode. Now, with this loadout, I have the AK-47, an arm micro, endurance, back in the saddle, and cluster bomb. I like to use this loadout for a more fast, fast pace, uh, get your own kills type of combat. But in the same sense, it could also be useful for team deathmatch and free for all. Here's an example of me playing with this class. So my second multiplayer loadout is also pretty speed based as well, but if you notice, it's a little bit different this time around because I have the M9 and also the Arc Micro again. Uh, with the Arc Micro this time, we're going to use the, the Rapid Fire modifier because since I'm not using Rapid Fire on my primary, which was my AK-47 before, I'll have more ammo to spare, so I'm going to use my secondary with... Um, rapid fire and that will leave me with more bullets than in the long run what my boosters i'm gonna go with bargain this time instead of back in the saddle because this is gonna be more of my sweeper class so bargain is gonna help out with me getting my my speedy g kickback faster so that i can go run through people with the m9 The next loadout features the G Maul, which is my favorite gun in the game. Uh, the G Maul, the reason why I like this gun so much is because it's versatile. It can be used in long range or short range combat, and it's pretty useful in almost any given situation. Now, with the G Maul, uh, you you have three possible modifiers: uh, clip size, accuracy, and call out. And these just the gmol at its base is already a great gun so you're given the chance to even enhance that gun further now with this loadout i ended up using the gmol along with the power 9 uh pistol and with the power 9 i went with a weapon expert which gave me another mod slot so i had more clips uh so i can disperse more ammo and also faster reload 
since the power nine isn't in automatic pistol like the art unlike the it's a counter it's a counter pistol it was pretty useful because you may lose speed battles with let's say someone who has a gun that uh, shoots fast but maybe they can't shoot as accurate with it so uh and also with this class i use daredevil which will give me ammo when i taunt over someone which is great because I don't want to run out of ammo. This this class is intended to stay alive long. And finally, disruption, which is gonna uh, stop enemies from seeing me on their radar, just in case I run through a wall after getting into a combat uh, segment with them. So for this fourth and final loadout, I ended up using the Dragon Sniper along with a uh, callout which is going to mark players on the map when I engage in battle with them. This will also help out my allies. And the final loadout, uh, it's, it consists of the Dragon Sniper along with the Arm Micro which will uh, help me in close range combat because the, the Sniper will be pretty hard for me to kill someone in close range. Uh, in addition to that, we have Cloak as the first booster, and um, second, our secondary booster is back in the saddle, which will help me get back into battle faster if I die. And along with that, I'm using the, the Smoke Bomb Kickback, because if I can't win any sort of gun battle, I can just poof, uh, vanish in, in thin air, and that will uh, send me somewhere else where I'm more safe. Kickback available. Only five kills left. Make this quick. 